I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. See that word on any tests this week? That's week. probably a good SAT word. Yeah, that's in a couple of tips. So I should probably get this yeah. started because they're waiting. Look at them. They're waiting so intently. Just look at them waiting to see what I'm going to say next. Hanging on every word. They're hanging on every word. The just teachers are because I have good cards in my hand. <laughs> you can just or hear. Had. You can hear the anticipating. The anticipation, not anticipating. It is Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> For me to say good morning, Brahmins, it's Thursday morning, we're ready to get started. I just wasted a minute of your life that you're never going to get back while you're waiting on me to get started, but that's great. You're prepared, you're ready, the seniors are finishing up their exams. The beauty of tomorrow for the class of 2018 is we should not even see you. You should be so decked out in camouflage that we really literally have to see if we can find you on this campus. That's what I'm expecting to look at tomorrow. I'll know the class of 2018 by what you wear and how you represent and how you come together as a class. Um, and you'll have your opportunity tomorrow to show how you're gonna start heading in that direction. And it will just build over time to where when you enter that gym on class day 2018, there will be no doubt that you guys are one cohesive unit. But again, that starts tomorrow. That's the start of their senior slideshow. Yeah. So they better sure start is. posting yeah. pictures. You, you better start because yeah that slideshow was was dotted up with camo pictures from the first day of last year so make it good. Tomorrow Should is your promise. day. So be here, stay strong, finish strong, start that cohesive bond. Class of 2019, don't even think about it. Um, you'll get your day. Um, and your day will come at the end of next year. Um, but you guys just need to, to respect the class of 2018 as they wear their camo tomorrow for the first time as a senior class. Um, you have some goodies? I do. I have to draw more names? You do. I have to read more cards? Mm -hmm. Take out Thursday? Giddy up. Take <laughs> out Thursday. That's a good thing we have a couple of T's in the week. <laughs> Okay, for Takeout Thursday, the first winner of a $25 gift card to Longhorn Steakhouse. This person says, I love seeing the creativity students bring to class and the way they interact with each other. I have the best group of students this year. Mrs. Botello said that. Aww. This person who is going to get a gift certificate to... The Cheesecake Factory said, my students and paraprofessionals I work with make me smile. I love my job. Mrs. Bowen. Seriously, Petters. <laughs> so... Like my kids. Throw everything in the floor. Do we have one more? Yes. I kind of like throwing these cards. <laughs> a $25 gift certificate to Red Lobster goes to a person that says... Simply seeing my students, Mrs. Harris. Aww. Look, <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> so, what do you guys have? Dual enrollment books are in. If you have already signed up for fast track classes or summer two, most of those books are in. There, I think there may, might be three or four copies of a textbook that we're still waiting on from main campus. Everybody else, you can stop by the media center, see Miss Sherlock, and she will get those checked out to you. If you drop the class between now and when your class starts, those books 
are still assigned to you. So you will need to be responsible for them and bring them back. Even if it's over the summer, you decide not to take the class, bring us those books so you don't lose them over the summer because they will be on your fines and fees list. Chromebooks, Chromebooks, Aww. Chromebooks. Yes. <laughs> so seniors, I hear we're like maybe on less than 100 now of those who still need to turn them in. So please get those turned in if you're by some chance having a free minute and you're watching this. You're probably watching it, oh, on your Chromebook. So hey, how about you get up and bring that to Miss Box right now, okay? And then underclassmen, those of you who do not have to take semester exams next week, you should be finishing up whatever need you have with your Chromebook and bring it and turn it in. Do not come to school next week and intend to watch movies on it. No, stay home and watch movies because you can because you don't have to take exams. But seriously, get those Chromebooks in because nobody wants $300 sitting on their fines and fees list. So take care of it. One more thing, um, shout out to Christian Rios. There's a conference this week and I believe starting tomorrow where they're going to highlight the uh, Sunshine State Scholars. Um, so he has been recognized and will be recognized as a Sunshine State Scholar um, representing Okeechobee School District. So proud of him and I don't think I ever put it out there about Princess Salva being accepted into the University of Florida internship program too. So, wow, nice. um, mm -hmm. so individual honors and accolades by, by students that are here and, and doing great things. So I'm sure I missed somebody. Art display. The yes, art. Yes, tonight. Go by and support your Brahmin artist tonight. There's an AP art display at the county courthouse, the old the old courthouse. Um, from 5 to 8, I believe. They're going to hang their art, and their art will be hung there for, I believe, a week. Um, but tonight is the little kickoff of that. So if you know AP art students and you've seen their art around campus, I mean, they're starting to paint every bare wall I can find them. Um, they have an impressive banner they're working on for the senior class. But definitely come out tonight and see their submissions um, to hang in the courthouse. Um, and that's that's about it. I mean, I, I think we're good. Are we good? We're good. Okay. Be great, be Brahmins.